talk about how to use different planes in Onshape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my plane button here and I'm going to click it. And we have a bunch of different options for planes. So I'm going to go through each one of these individually and show you how you can use them to place on different uh, objects or edges. So an offset plane basically is a flat plane and you can do it off of a flat surface, so a face. So for instance if I clicked on the front here you'll notice it defaults to one inch and I can flip the direction if I want to go one inch inside the object instead of outside and I can adjust this out if I'd like to. So offsets are probably your basic one, um, one that you might need. So I'm going to cancel this and go on to the next one. So the next one is plane point. So if you have a point, and I'll just pick a corner here, I can select it and then it's going to want a plane to work off of that point. So let's say I use top. So even though I could make a new sketch just on the bottom anyway, this kind of shows you in relation to the top plane, it puts a plane on that point at the same angle or parallel to the face or plane that I pick. So if you need to get on the tip of something and be able to put a plane on it, that's how you would do that. So I'm going to cancel this. Next one is line angle. So if I go ahead and select an edge, I can then create an angled plane off of that. And I can manually adjust it with this arrow, or I can type it in here. Next option is point normal. So for point normal, I can select and I'm actually going to bring a sketch in. So I created this sketch and all I did was I made it so this center point was visible. So point normal lets me select a center point or a point in general. And then I can select an edge or a line that is near that point and it'll line up between the vertex of the line or edge and the middle of that point. Um, and it will go perpendicular to the edge or line that you pick. So just to show you, if I clicked this edge, it goes perpendicular to that edge, but it goes through that point. Okay. Next is three point. So what three point does, if I select any three points and it can create a plane, let me hide this sketch again. And I'll try to do, let me see here, here and we'll do one in the back corner here. And now it put a plane that connects to those three points. So it gives that plane a direction to go in. So I have this angled plane now between those three points. So let me get rid of those. Next is a mid plane. So mid plane is really nice if you're trying to get to the center of an object. So if I select two faces uh, that are parallel to one another. So if I do, I'll do this front face and then I'll click the back. It'll automatically do the calculations for what the center of that should be. And this is also really nice because if I decide to change the length of this extrusion, this plane will always be in the middle between these two faces. So the plane will adjust as needed. Next one is curve point. So what curve point does is it creates a plane that is perpendicular to the end of a curve. So if I choose this curve and this point, it puts a plane that is perpendicular to this end point. Okay, so that way you can go straight into a straight line object if you need to. And the final one is a tangent plane. So what a tangent plane does is if you select the edge of a curve, it will put it so that the plane is tangent to that curve. You can also select an additional plane. So for instance, if I wanted this to be tangent to the curve, but I also want it to be uh, vertical or straight up and down, I could select right, and then it'll put the plane tangent to the curve also. So if I look at it from the front, you'll see it's lined up. But it is in the orientation that I want. Uh, sometimes you don't need to do that, like I did with the top. It automatically said, oh, you want a curved tangent to the top. I could also select top, and it'll just stay there. Um, and it's just showing you that they're both highlighted. I can also select a face and make sure it's tangent to that face as well. 
so there's a couple different options with tangent here. And that is all your different planes. So real quick, I just wanted to show you also, you can do uh, bring some of your edges out. I believe I talked about this in another video, but I think it's good to show in here as well. So if I have a plane, oh, I accidentally made a second one. So if I have a plane, let's say it's offset, and I'll flip it so it's sticking out, and I do a new sketch on there, and I want the edges of my circular top here to be on that plane so I can sketch to it, I can easily go up here to use or project and select these edges. So now I know where those are and I can work off of those. I can also do certain points as well. Uh, sometimes it grabs them, sometimes it doesn't. So like if I want this midpoint here, uh, it'll bring that over as well. So I can work off of that. So if I create something, and I'll just make something quick here, I can finish it and then I can extrude up to the face. So if I flip it, and go up to face and select the curve. Now it conforms to that curve. Okay. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.